Hello, everybody. My name is Ian Lamont. I am the author of Lean Media, and I operate a publishing business using Amazon, Shopify, WordPress, and other tools. Today, I'm going to be talking about inventory planning in Amazon Seller Central. And a quick reminder, the processes I will show you may not work the same way for your business as they do for mine, and you are responsible for evaluating risk and following the terms and requirements for programs like Amazon Seller Central. And this, as many of you know, is the Amazon Seller Central home screen. Uh, this shows kind of the a dashboard of some of the features that you use and um, restock inventory actually appears on the dashboard currently. Um, if you if you if you see it, it might give a recommendation like restock this particular item right now because it's short. Um, but if you do not see this box for some reason, just go to inventory, select inventory planning, and then go to restock inventory here. And, and by the way, I used to use a different method for determining how much stuff I should send in to, um, to Amazon warehouses. I'm an FBA seller, and I'd use inventory age and some other estimations. But lately, I think the restock inventory is the, uh, is, is the way to go. And, and one other note I'd like to say, sometimes there may be messages like this, like restock inventory. We're limiting the quantity you can send in for this product as we continue to prioritize products uh, because of the uh, pandemic or because it's the holiday season or whatever. Uh, so just be aware of that. But basically what this screen will show you is it shows you the stuff that um, needs to be restocked and the stuff that does not need to be restocked. And the key column here is recommended replenishment quantity and the recommended ship date. So let's take a look actually at this item right here. Um, let's see. So this, this is an item that I sell uh, it's basically for pet owners to track their dog's health and um, the pedigree of their pets. And on the restock inventory page, you can actually see that there's zero items recommended and there's no recommended ship date. And the reason is, is because the sales haven't been that good. On this column, sales summary, you can see zero sales and they already have uh, 14 units in stock and they have more than a 365 uh, plus day of supply. So they do not want me to send anything more in. However, if I look on the item right below it, um, this is one of the genealogy products we sell. They sell 72 units in the past 30 days, and they're recommending that I send in 208 units and do it today. And basically, to get started on this, I would just uh, create this, I would select this um, create shipping plan, or I think I can actually do it this way too. I can select two of them, then use the app. Uh, actually, I'm not gonna do it that way, Never mind. <laughs> That shows me recommendations. But so if I wanted to proceed and send in these items, I could go create shipping plan, and then it would it would launch the um, send send inventory to to Amazon. That whole process is, which I'm sure many of you are familiar with. Um, one issue that a lot of sellers have actually is they don't have the inventory on hand. Either their uh, manufacturer has it, or it's in a warehouse somewhere. So, or maybe they still need to ship it someplace like it's manufactured in uh, Vietnam or Taiwan or Mexico and they need to get to the US and then they need to, to uh, send it to an FBA FBA center. And by the way, your uh, manufacturers can help you do that. You can add them as a as a shipper, but in some cases that may require a little extra coordination. And certainly for this particular item, they want me to send in a lot right now. I just don't have the inventory available. But for items I do have the inventory available or I manufacture them locally, I can get going on that. So these items up here, I could actually get started on that. Uh, one other thing to know is that if you see something recommended here, you don't have to use create shipping plan, the button here to get started. If you want to, you can just go to the manage FBA inventory and then you can, uh, let's say you can select an item and then you can go uh, send replenish inventory and it will start the same process, but you may not know what the particular um, what the particular recommended quantity is. So that little recommended quantity on the restock inventory page is pretty handy. For more information on how to get the most out of Amazon FBA and other Amazon programs, um, I talk a little bit about that in the book, but also a great place to go. If you go to leanmedia.org, click on video, and then uh, select you, click on the YouTube channel, or go to the blog on leanmedia.org, and I have many of the videos featured there, plus I also give explanations. I actually like write out something long so you can see how it works. And I cover all these topics related to Amazon, uh, Lean Media, Shopify, WordPress, um, all kinds of stuff like that. So it's a great resource and I hope that you find it useful too. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. For more information, uh, go to leanmedia.org. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much.